Good morning comrades, welcome back to the channel, welcome back to beautiful frozen snow in Nürburgring. It's currently minus 12 degrees, uh, but hopefully I'll get warmed up because today we will be talking about some sketchy moments, near misses, near best clickbaits of the year, let's call it that way, that we experienced in 2022 driving season. So I came up with a couple of them and actually there is one more which was the absolute best impossible save of the year ever but that is members only exclusive content sorry but you can become a channel member by clicking the link in the first comment or video description so hope to see you there and uh, for now let's start off with the very first one that happened this year when we drove the f80 m3 together with the owner and also adrian on the back seat and also a girl that i was trying to impress you may say that it actually worked out well because meanwhile she is my girlfriend to be honest back then we were already dating but we didn't want to go public so it was quite fun a bit of cold tires <laughs> yes. um yeah yeah it was it was good shortly after Adrian, who was with me in the car and is filming right now, we were in the Gulf of Apex. And I believe he had the best heart attack moment back then as well. <laughs> wow, holy fuck, with like the handling. I'm impressed, I did not expect this. I really did not expect this, not at all. Or this, oh, why is traction control still on? I thought I turned it off, maybe not completely. Hmm. Grabbing my list here because it's quite a lot. No brakes on it. <laughs> Construction works are happening full speed and we will be doing a separate video on that uh, in a couple of weeks time. Uh, but going back to the uh, fails or oh shit moments. No brakes on a Tesla. Uh, oh, pedal is full on flat. Yes, emergency is... braking disabled. <laughs> okay, well. There are no brakes anymore? No, nothing here. Nothing. Okay. I hope you can actually see it on the camera. The panel is fully flat. Uh... Yeah, it's good that we experienced already some fading and we knew that it could possibly happen because Teslas are unfortunately known for having brake failures and indeed it happened that when you press the pedal, nothing is happening. Next year, I'll be driving a, a Tesla Model S Plaid from uh, an owner who actually reached out to me and offered me to drive his car. And I know that they are known for losing the brakes in like US on smaller tracks. So hmm, we'll proceed with caution. Speaking of losing brakes, there were a couple of more, by the way. So for example, we had the Golf uh, that we drove together with Jamie, officially guest, and Anton, its owner. The chief code. Yeah, the brakes went <laughs> and left lots of smoke as well. Hello. <laughs> Interesting, they're transporting some concrete, so maybe there's actually more happening. Hmm. We will see again in one of the upcoming videos. Speaking of losing brakes, one of the more recent videos was a Fiesta that I drove that actually had a different brake failure. That the brakes were na namely kind of the pedal was jamming and it kept on braking and therefore the brakes got overheated or they, they were not delivering the same braking performance because the brake pads got overheated, not the brake fluid. So that was almost miss into the wall and after that the brakes jammed so then we had to crawl off the track and then back on the track with the traffic flying past us which was also quite an uh, unpleasant experience in a different way Fuck. This is not cool. 
Yeah, going back to the Tesla, again, one of the most recent videos, the om wheels almost fell off a Tesla. That was also a um, disaster avoided. If we would have gone for another lap, it could have been quite a different story. <laughs> yeah, it is. Oh, what's the... Something is... Something is one you already torqued up, right? Yeah. I think cool. I need to tighten it up. Oh, one more. Yeah. Yeah, they're all loose. Yeah, I think I might check all of them on all yeah, wheels. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> hmm. MX-5. Because I paid too much attention to the car that I was overtaking at the time. It went a bit on the grass. Should we talk about another pass on the grass as well? No, let's not do that. We, ne we never did such thing. There is no evidence of that, so it never happened. Yes, we're overtaking M4. Yeah. Speaking of MX-5, I was not the only one who messed it up. There was another MX-5 that was driving in front of me when I was driving a DC-5 because MX-5 was having same mistakes on the front and some Chinese tires on the rear. This happened. <laughs> We gotta get out of here. Yeah. Then a couple of wet driving moments when driving in the wet. So first, 700 horsepower M3 of Michael Schublacher. Uh, that was quite, uh, yeah, in the beginning it was already something. Hmm. And then we were going, I think, close to 200 kilometers per hour straight and the back end was stepping out. So that was like, okay, driving in the wet is quite challenging. Then from the same group of UK YouTubers with Evil GT when we were approaching Schwedenkreuz uh, with a high speed and went on the brakes, hmm, the car was taking its time to come to a stop or to come to a desired speed to take the corner. So that was quite unpleasant as I expressed back then. <laughs> that was unpleasant. <laughs> That was terrifying. Yep, for me too. <laughs> we could talk about wet driving of Nissan GTR. I wouldn't say it was like a real oh shit moment because I even told to the owner, chill out, we got this. Fucking hell, don't worry. <laughs> And another one, speaking of driving in the wet on very horrible tires, the 20 kilometer drift slides with a Citroen Xara. So if the car went sideways already at these slow speeds, imagine what could have happened on when you're actually driving fast. So it was like a very anxious drive. We are not expecting you to send it uh, for the... Uh, <laughs> 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 I'm, uh, I, it's so oh. oh shit! Oh. <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> I told you it's playful! Oh my god! It's so much scarier than in the M3! And a similar thing also happened here on the main street when I was driving an Evo and impressed by the grip acceleration and then I realized like hold on a second it's actually uh, it's actually wet I need to adjust my braking point and <laughs> already up here it was already like oh yeah wait uh, yeah Speaking of different tires, remember the Scat Pack Charger with wrong tires, the all-season tires that made the car slide all over the place? That was an interesting experience as well. Luckily the owner afterwards put on a very grippy mission and PS4S that were actually specified for Porsche and afterwards the car was very good to drive. Tires do not really work. <laughs> Good throttle response, I like it. Oh, scheiße! <laughs> yeah, 
there's no grip on the rear whatsoever. <laughs> There were also a couple of moments that we had with the 996 GT3 MR. You could include them, I would say. Doesn't like the curbs. Yeah. Front is way too soft. Woohoo! <laughs> Then finally, from the cars that I have been driving, I wouldn't say it was like a catch or a oh shit moment, but it was a very nice correction when I was driving 600 LT. I really love the execution of it, even if I say so myself. And to finalize, actually two of the moments, the near miss or oh shit moments, uh, and not with me driving, but with other people, when I was on the back seat of a supercharged E39 M5, and we went quite sideways through Schwedenkreuz, unpleasant. And finally, probably the biggest oh shit moment when I was passenger with Alex in his GT2 RSMR and going extremely fast, quite wide, on the same spot where we lost our Apex GT2 RSMR. Vietnam flashbacks happened right there, although I was not in the Apex GT2 RS. I knew that this is a quite a tricky corner. And, hmm. <laughs> okay, I think that's pretty much it. My ears are frozen, they're about to fall off, so we should go inside. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what was your favorite moment or the least favorite moment that you're gonna say like, Misha, this is absolutely irresponsible. And I'm not ridiculing you, this is also, sometimes we let go ourselves, but this is what happens with the track driving. So we just need to be just on the line and not go over the line when we let ourselves go a bit too much that we cannot catch it anymore. I hope we're gonna have less of these moments next year, but knowing that anything can happen, we will have to see. I'm very much looking forward to be driving next year and sharing the experiences with you. So uh, for that, stay tuned, subscribe, like, share, and again, check out the members section where you have the ultimate catch of ever.